Hello, this is Sandro with God for Braking Systems. And I'm Robert. We're going to be installing a front set of brake pads on an ATV today. First thing that we're going to do, we're going to be removing the stock caliper. So we're going to loosen up the bolts a little bit. Take the caliper out. The stock caliper has a pin that we want to remove as well. You gotta take that piece out and we're also gonna be removing the inside pin. But This is a, always a good time before replacing the brake pads to look at your caliper and see if it's dirty. If it's very dirty on the surface or the bleeder, the, the pistons themselves are dirty, we usually suggest getting some brake cleaner and just spray on the pistons. You can also push the pistons out a little bit by squeezing on your brake lever and that will show you more of the piston itself and all the grind that the piston is hiding. Once you've pushed that up, a little bit of brake clean on a towel and just try to clean the pistons as best as you can. If you have an old toothbrush, you can also do the exact same thing around the pistons themselves. Okay, now we've cleaned the pistons, you want to push them back inside, you can do that by hand. We have removed the stock brake pad and we're going to put the new brake pads back on. Put the pin inside, we're going to drop the brake pad in and then just push it inside. You want to make sure that the brake pad always does settle inside of the stock shims. If you don't, the brake pad is going to be wobbling all over the place and that can become very dangerous. The brake pad could fall right out. Once you have both pads in, you just slide the pin inside and bolt it back up. Like so. You gotta make sure that the safety pin is nice and tight on the inside. And once you know that it's nice and tight, then you're gonna put the other pin that this caliper in particular came with. Now you're ready to go. Um, we usually suggest once you have brand new brake pads that you go out and ride your machine for about 10 to 15 minutes, just very light on the brakes. Uh, you don't want to go too hard on them. You don't want to glaze the system. Um, once you've done your first ride, I always suggest you go back and just look at it. Take the wheel off if you can, or at least crawl underneath the machine and look at the brake pads. Make sure that nothing that you did was done wrong nothing it's uh, clinking or making a weird noise that again the brake pads might be getting loose somewhere something you might have done Gaffer brake pads have a six month warranty as long as you don't destroy them on some kind of severe riding condition and um, if you have any technical questions about the brake pads you can always call us up and uh, we'll give you guidance